Hello everybody and thank God it's Friday, but I am glad it's Friday because I have a very handsome guest today, uh, Andre Krauss, the Grammy Award winner, gospel singer, and I'm going to have to cut down on my dancing today because there weren't them church folks that's around here today. And I want to say hello to this special guest that wants me to slow down on reading the recipe. I will do my best, but that just depends on how much time I have, and I'm going to break now and come right back. got up here with me today, but he's going home after a while, but that's all right. Uh, church. If, oh, oh, church. Well, good, good. Uh, say a little prayer for me. Hello, everybody. This is Andre Krauts, the Grammy Award winning gospel singer and one of the greatest of our times. And Andre, I know a lot about you, but let's tell everybody out there, as you know, this is an informal interview show, so if you don't talk about yourself, I can't. Uh, what, what should I tell them? Uh, whatever. Well, is, is where you going, where you been, and well, what you I'm record, to? I'm recording a new album right now for Warner Brothers. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, it's gospel, though, and I'm also with uh, the same company that, that I've always been with. And oh. I'm recording also a hot new gospel group from Detroit called the Winans. It's a family. The Winans? W I not wine olds, but wine. Oh, w I just. <laughs> w I N A N A. Ooh, that's what, oh, I see. Yeah. So don't get the wrong. I get your mind out of the gutter. They're huh? fantastic uh, group. Really? And, yeah. And then I'm getting ready to go back to the Grammys. I'm playing on the Grammys next week. Again? Yeah. Oh, I, I know your walk off with flying colors. Well, I don't know. You know, it's going to be cold. Uh, well, right. you got to think positive. Say yes. Yes. Yeah. And okay. then you'll do it too, right? right. That's why I, I thought positive about this pot of uh, smothered chicken today too. So oh, I know that's going to be good. Is that what we have in smothered? Oh, sure, sure. Don't that look good? It oh, looks excellent. It is sim I almost burn it up, but you know, if you find any brown, black pieces of pepper in there, just eat it anyway. It's good for the stomach. <laughs> but anyway, back to you now. Uh, what, besides doing the album, uh, I don't think so, but maybe have, have you ever done any acting or uh, has that ever been one of well, your... Well, I've been in a couple of plays. I mean, I'd, I'd like to, you know. I, oh, I, really? I, uh, of course, you know, I'd, I'd have to be quite selective in what I would do. That's right. But I would love to expand in different areas like that. Yeah. You know? Such as co-hosting the Down Home Cooking Show? Hey. Yeah, so why I mean, not? you know, <laughs> that's mean, this, is, this is very select and hey, kosher. Hey, I love it. I yes, mean, it is. I think your show is fantastic, by the way. I, I, was, I was at home. See, you know, when you travel a lot, a lot on the road, you don't get a chance to be with Auntie, uh, relatives uh, in the mother, kitchen. You, I mean, mother, I mean, and, uh, you, and know, I turn the TV on when I get back home, and you were burning. And I remember I called here. You and sure said, did. The second hey, week I was here, you called. I and said, said the yeah. show was great because it just right. made me it made me laugh, and it was it's just like being at home, you know. Right. It's just like being in in your a relative's kitchen. This is the way I want the people to feel. And a lot of people out there, they think I'm eight. They think I'm whatever. Thank you Simply what? be yeah. <laughs> They think I've gone bananas <laughs> because I'm what I am. I mean, you know, I have to be me and I'm free. And they seem to think that, well, hey, that woman, she ain't got it. She's supposed to be back down there cooking that them pigtails and neck bones. And I don't even know how to cook pigtails well, and see, neck bones. See, I think we, you know, a lot of people get too sophisticated and they forget about you know their roots and everything right, right and they try to be a little bit too sophisticated for a lot of different things and so when they really see what what our culture is and mother cooking in the kitchen well then they say hey that's not our trip you know right but if you turn on a, a japanese cooking he's gonna sound like a japanese and he's gonna cook them now seaweeds too uh, even he, if he barbecue them he gonna cook <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, I like and, seaweed. And so I like I, seaweed soup. So I, yeah. I like to say that I appreciate, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, the show very much. Well, thank you very much. And I do have a lot of viewers out there that feel the same way, you know. Yeah. So it makes me feel good, really. So that's showbiz. You have to get it down and get it up. That's yeah. right. But most of the time, I'm gonna keep it up, honey. That's right. And right? it smells fantastic. And and this he. <laughs> Oh, he said, take the top. That's what you were yeah. saying? Yeah. Well, why didn't you get up and do it yourself? Mm. Who do you think you are? I got to go to a break, and I'll be right back. I'm not supposed to dance. I know. Oh, well, I won't either. <laughs> it's going to rain. You better get ready. You better get right. Rain. 
Well, do it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do it up here today. Uh, number one, I'm going to tell you about the chicken, and then Andre wants to talk about his album. But the dish that we're doing today is smothered chicken, and I'm going to dish it up and just make your mouth one water. And like I say, mm -hmm. I almost burned it up. I didn't quite make it, so. But well, it's still good. Excellent. And we're going to have rice with that. And uh, because that's one of your specialties. Rice is my favorite dish. So I'll tell you the ingredients pretty soon. But right now, Andre, would you like to? Uh, we gotta hold it here, honey. So see, I dressed like my album today. I see. So I, I looked like I was just popping out. So right. I, just he just popped out of that. This album. is my latest we, album. We're gonna let's hold it over here. You can hold it, but we have to. Which here? Okay, here you hold it now because it's. I'll right. be thinking of you. Uh, this is my latest recorded uh, studio album. And I won a Grammy for this one. But the tune you just heard, I, I just uh, uh, got another Grammy nomination. And it probably if, if I win this year, uh, which I don't Oh, I keep saying if. That is too But see, it, it, it is. I know you have a lot of people I mean, to go it, up it, against. It doesn't matter, you know, it's yeah. like that. Yeah, it's you have three. Who cares about an old Grammy? <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in the no. Who cares? No. Who cares about no. it? I mean, it's not like that, but... You know, praise the Lord for this. Praise the Lord, right. You and know. I praise him every day and you do the same. Huh? And so, uh, but if you don't have this record, you can pick it up. I'll be thanking of you. All right. I sure will get it. I most certainly will. Is it on tape? That might yes, be. on tape, uh, eight track. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if it's on video yet, but it's on oh, all that. Is it on cassette and all that? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so you know all about the album that he, uh, one of such many that he has done. And now I'm going to tell you about uh, many, one such many as I have done, pots of smothered chicken. And the ingredients are, the main ingredient is chicken, okay? All right, you got that, huh? Okay. Then, oh, here, honey. I you, hope my dad and my, and my mom are listening. Well, I'll love. tell you what, don't you think your cute looking time is over, honey? You hey, put this apron right. on now. You, you see don't this, have to mama? Put it, Right on. You don't have good? to put it. Just get it on the best way you can, honey. I'm glad I lost those 15 pounds. You lost 15 pounds? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's... I went on a, uh, 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 one of those enzyme diets. Oh. Yeah, well, whatever that is, I it's guess... fruit and, and meat. <laughs> well, I guess it's all right. And vegetables. Uh-huh. Now, let me tell them folks out there about this chicken now. Okay. Uh, as, you very, <laughs> as you very well know, okay. this is... Chicken, huh? Cut up. You can, but to get it really low, buy the whole chicken and do your own thing. You know, you can save yourself some money and you can cut it up the way you want. But I cheated this morning. I let them folks cut that chicken up. But anyway, you want salt, accent, uh, whew, that's pepper, pepper, accent, and salt, onion, bell pepper, and mm. cooking oil, and flour. And it's a very easy dish to make and it certainly is very inexpensive. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you can talk some while I put some oh, stuff okay. on this here. All right. I, I just, I just pretend I'm not here. That's all, because i got to do this chicken. Well, now. I was doing that earlier. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, good. That's so I noticed. You know, I just thought I'd let you know that I knew what you was doing. You know. Take the show. <laughs> right. Take it. Uh, this is the Andre Crouch Show, and he hired me to come down here and cook the head. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, what we really do here... Now, what we really going to do is cut up You want me to cut this up? That's what, yeah. Are but these, you can talk about are it. Are these Why clean? Uh, I mean, should I wash them? <laughs> we don't tell everything we do up here now. Uh, uh, you know, I cook, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you know they're supposed to be clean, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, they are clean. I washed them early. Oh, morning. all right. Is Here that, we go. Does that hold you for a minute? Okay, uh, I'm letting my oil heat now. I'm going to dish up some chicken, honey. Uh, so, how big you want these? Oh, uh, don't. You don't have to be too careful with it because this is the part of the show what we're doing now that we have to redo later and cook later. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I always have the finished product. Okay, do uh, you freeze see. some of this or do, do the people eat it up? That's a good thing there. I'm glad you You do know how to cook, huh? Oh, yeah. You, you're good for something besides can... earning Grammys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, in answer to your question, and that can be a good household hint for you, you can freeze bell pepper, but you should 
uh, they call it paw boil. You can just say, uh, 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 emer emerge it in boiling water, you see, and that keeps it from being strong, and it freezes, and it comes out tasting good, man. Uh, so, you know, I, I want to ask you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like when you put bell pepper in potato salad sometimes, uh -huh. it, it tastes bitter. How, how do you get the bitterness out of uh, Well, you can't, uh, you can't do that, no. But when you put bell pepper in your potato salad, you should really be make enough to eat that t the same day because number one it has water in it have you made potato salad and yeah. left it overnight and you find this watery uh consistency your, your stuff you got to drain it off and all well the celery and bell pepper does that because it has water in it well you know uh around christmas time i had a, a big party and I, and I cooked like 80 pounds of mashed potato salad. Oh, mashed potato salad. I yeah. love that kind of potato salad. And, uh, but, but I found like a couple of days later, for the leftovers, it tastes, you know, the salad was a little bitter. And right, I mean. and that is why you should never leave bell pepper even in your dressings, you know. Uh, you make uh, a dressing, and I put bell pepper in my dressing. Do you? I don't make dressing. Oh, you, you, don't, you ain't that here, no, huh? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, uh, even putting bell pepper in your dressings, you should really be sure that you're going to eat that thin because it helps to set up, uh, 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 what do you call that, uh, uh, salmonella, for one thing. Salmonella? You know, yeah, that's something. It, 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 it can put the hurt <laughs> on you, but it won't kill you, you know. Uh, let's, so that way, bell pepper is good for seasoning, but you really have to know what you're doing. And, and, and when you put it in soups and stews, that is good. It can set because you are dealing with two liquids. But when you put bell pepper and celery in a dry ingredient that's going to set over, uh, just eat it up. Don't leave it, honey, because it ain't going to be tasting right. All right, I'll do that. All right. Now, have you learned something today? Yes, I have. Okay. All right. If uh, <laughs> about cooking. Uh, this is that a little here. bitter. Uh. Okay. So what we're going to do here now? Is, well, we're going to read you the recipe because it ain't no point in me trying to show you how to cook this chicken because I don't have the time. I'm just going to tell you. Oh, we don't you. have time to cook? You're all oh, here, honey. Here. Yes. Here. Oh, all right. Help yourself. I thought so, you... Put it in here? Yeah. I'm going to see if... Are we going to fry this? Sure, we're going to fry it. I'll put the burner back on, honey. Hey, I can work it. You, can you deal with it? I can way? deal with it. Well, at least we're going to put the chicken in the skillet now. We this is flour in here, by the way. Right. And you want to season your chicken before you put it in the flour. Uh, do you ever season your flour? That's a waste of good money because you can only use that flour for so long. That's a good hint, too. See, you're getting a lot of info today. See, now. this. Okay. Put it there. Is uh, because you season the flour, it's going to be thrown out eventually. But if you season the meat, the seasonings from the meat will go up into the flour so you get a well-seasoned piece of meat. Oh, Got I that see. in your book there? Huh? So uh, actually when you make this, you fry the chicken first. And then right, right. I've and then saute your vegetables, but try not to burn them. But if you do, don't worry about it. Just put it in the pot anyway. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't eat. Oh, yeah. Well, see, we're going to cut this onion up too, you see. All right. uh, no, you don't have to. That's How about right. this right here? Oh, we, we're going to let them see that. We ain't going to worry about that over there. But anyway, uh, we, uh, we'll just show them. See, we're going to put bell, chopped bell pepper, see? Okay. And then we should have chopped the onion, but we didn't. But you, cho you chopped the onion. Then after the chicken is done, you take, remove the chicken, pour the oil in something, and add the flour saute that for about, I mean saute, you stir that in that skillet and cook it for about uh, two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you add your onion and bell pepper and you, you drain off the fat, you saute, and then okay. you really saute the bell pepper and onion because you don't want it to burn. Then you add your chicken back to the skillet, put the water and put more seasonings and you'll have a good mess of chicken Boy, honey. Huh? Great. And listen Andre, aren't you going to dig in just a little bit? You don't have to All go. Right. Crazy hog now, wild. You, don't, don't go hog wild. You know, I, you know, hog wild and pigtail crazy over. <laughs> Just eat so Okay. Oh, Barbara, I think we're going to need a fork. Honey. Got some chopsticks. You want a little rice? Huh? Yeah, I was looking for some chopsticks. Okay. Chopsticks.
respect. <laughs> yeah. We're not in the valley of the seaweed. No, I, I mean, we've been talking about oriental food oh, today. Oh, yeah. You know, I made some sukiyaki. Now, that's when you need your chopsticks. Boy, okay. this is great. You don't get none. Well, I, I knew I had put Oops. them somewhere. See? See? I'm burning the chicken. Look at that. Look, just so, that ain't no big thing. Mm. Just take your knife and scrape it off. Don't worry about it. See, put it down. Ooh, see, put great. it in the skillet, and that'll help make the brown gravy. <laughs> Don't you ever worry about burning nothing, honey. Okay, now when you put the bell pepper in, you put it in after you put this in, right? Right. No, no. I mean, you you saute your vegetables. Okay, I'm going over it once more. You you cook your chicken, fry your chicken up to a point. Remove it from the skillet. Then you pour off some of the oil, and you put some flour in and you, you brown your flour almost, then you add your onion and bell pepper and saute that for one or two minutes, and then you add your chicken to the pot, and I'm gonna read, let, read the recipe, and then I'll finish telling you what I was just trying to tell you now, huh? Mm. Okay, how does that taste? Great. Okay, you wanna read the recipe or you wanna mm -hmm. eat? It don't make me know this. What you do? <laughs> one cup. One cut up frying chicken. His mouth is full of food. I'll one medium you know. onion chopped. <laughs> <laughs> one large bell pepper chopped. One cup flour. One cup cooking oil. One cup water. Salt, pepper, and accent to taste. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Did you read to the line? Read the line? Yeah, dot, that, dot, that's dot, it. Dot. That's it. We can't read you no more. Now I'm going to finish telling you about the chicken. Uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, after I had gotten to the point where you put your chicken in the pot and pour your your seed, your flour and your sautéed vegetables and cover it, just barely cover it with water, add more salt, pepper, and accent or to mm. taste. If you think you don't need no more, forget it. I mean, that's this all right. great. And you cover it and let it cook until your chicken is tender. And that's about, that's it. And uh, that's good, that's huh? Good, good. Yeah? You're all right, then. It's great. Oh, Lord. This, this <laughs> lanyard is sitting over there just drooling. I, I barbara got to wipe his mouth because he's just... <laughs> uh, but it's good, though. Don't worry about it. It's all right. So, uh, anyway, I hope you got the recipe, that part of the recipe, and right fast for the summer, and I'm going to a break real quick and be right back. <laughs> Hey, Sarah, I'd, I'd like for you to tell me that again, how to keep your bell pepper from getting bitter. You and know. I thought you were smart. Did you mean to tell me you I mean, I was that nervous at first. I got to yeah, bring it Yeah, I mean, back it just passed right oh, by. You oh, know see, what I mean? See, that's what I did. Well, anyway. You know. Uh, I'm going to do it just for you. Uh, to re a repeat on the household hand. If you want to freeze bell pepper, you, you uh, blanch it or parboil quickly and just put it in the refrigerator that way and it will maintain its taste mm -hmm. and it's very good and if you use it in salads be sure unless it's a green salad that you're going to eat all of that salad up because otherwise it's watery the water will get in your salad it will have a different taste plus it will taste bitter and it, that's it's, true is celery like that too it, no celery it, it's it's a cool thing it, don't worry about that but you can't <laughs> leave it in salad though because it's water in that too it's drip too right it, it the water it, it draw comes out into whatever you do it and will you do me the honor of reading the summary okay this is a summary one, cut and wash chicken, of course, while still moist, season with salt, pepper, and accent. Place all parts in a paper bag with the flour and shake to coat thoroughly. Fry chicken in hot oil until golden brown. Remove to platter. Put on table. No, prepare a brown roux. 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 Yeah. To this, add onion and bell pepper, stirring constantly. Now let it saute before roux is completely brown. Return chicken to skillet and water cover and simmer until meat is tender by your standards. And more water if you desire a thinner sauce. Right. Is that the end of that? <laughs> well, that's it for, for the recipe. And it has been a pleasure being with you this week. And I hope I brought as much joy into your oh, life as I that you bring it into mind knowing you're there. And my guest for uh, next week, starting the week off, will be Richard Klein.
from three mm. is company. That dude that's always running from upstairs, taking care of other people's business, and never catching his girl. So, Andre, it has been a pleasure, dear. Thank you. I loved it. And the food, too. And, uh, all right. And uh, uh, by the way, I, I will buy that album, and I'm, I'm looking forward to you showing me that Grammy. And, uh, it's Wednesday night, I think. It is? Oh, well, I'll be watching... Sh Pinchy, you know, shake your ear and tell them. Okay, I'll say it. Hello, Sarah. 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 <laughs> and goodbye, and see you on Monday. Time's up. Alright!